Hello Aries and welcome to another reading here with me Soulful. How are you doing today? All right. I am open and ready to get straight into your guys' reading. You already know how this works. I pull three cards on your main energy and then we tap into some clarification for you and go from there. All right. Okay. Three cards for Aries main energy, please. Source three cards for Aries main energy. Three cards for Aries main energy. Okay. Angel of Strength in the reverse. Path. Decision. All right, Aries, I feel definitely by looking at these cards, there is something you are really trying to remain uh, on your path with. I think that you have recently been dealing with not only a problem when it comes to making a choice, okay, but you have also been feeling a little bit down and out, like maybe something in your life has been challenging your own path. You may be questioning yourself whether or not this decision is going to actually benefit you. There's something about the situation or the relationship that is actually making you feel unstable, weak, or just like your energy is being drained or you're, you're not really sure about it, okay? So I want to go ahead and get into clarity because I feel the indecision right now that you're having okay is based around a fear that you might make the wrong choice and it's going to affect your life on a spiritual level all right or it's going to throw you off your path so let's take a look tell me about the angel of strength please three cards for clarification for aries the angel of strength okay yeah we have the devil in reverse okay yeah you're trying to release toxicity right now in your life something's been challenging you seven of cups okay and three of cups uh yeah you are really trying to release somebody here aries you're trying to let go of a specific person uh could be capricorn doesn't have to be there <laughs> this is your indecision here with the seven of cups okay you're afraid. You're afraid that you're going to make the wrong choice. And here with the Three of Cups, this could actually be about a reunion with somebody. You may want to actually get back together with someone. But in the past, you dealt with this person's toxic energy. And if it wasn't their toxic energy, it was just a cycle that really was not good for you. And it may have actually kind of weakened your position or made you feel as though you were literally off your path. And right now in your present energy, you're trying to remain dedicated to your path. So whatever, whatever is happening here, um, you, you want this, you want to stay in this three of cups energy. I feel it's very important to you that you're, you're you're like enjoying your life okay but i feel somebody has approached you or wants to speak with you here um this is where your indecision is coming from about reuniting with them or you want to reunite with them okay so let's take a look at the temple path three cards please for the temple path for aries the sun in reverse yeah you, you <laughs> i feel as though you think that if you re-engage with this person, that it's going to actually take away um, the light on your path here. So you're just, you're, you're definitely questioning whether this is something you want to do. Strength, okay? We've got strength twice here. Angel of strength here and the strength card here, Aries. Okay, you polarized into this card. Uh, you you are definitely within your own strength right now and feeling balanced. But you you you're, you're maybe even unhappy about something in your life. Could be this person. Could be the situation that happened with them. So, what what I really want to tell you right now, Aries here. Um, also, you may really be dealing with a Leo with the Sun card and the strength that you have Leo in your chart, pretty strong. Um, but you don't want to leave this energy, 
okay? You are currently in a very balanced energy. So this is where your indecision is coming in. You're questioning yourself and whether or not, you know, do is this my path? Am I on the right path? Am I supposed to be um, engaging in these past behaviors? You know, you've left something behind. We have the Seven of Swords. I feel you're not going to take this, okay? You're being encouraged here to continue staying within your own personal strength because with, with this card, you're not going to back down, okay? You may actually stake your claim, be confident enough, and just basically say, no, I'm not willing to go off my path for this past energy that was really effing with me here with the devil in reverse. You have decided, <laughs> in a sense, without deciding, okay, with indecision, that your path is more important to you. I feel you may have been dealing with a huge conflict with another person, um, something you didn't agree upon, I'm hearing, or they, they invade, I'm hearing this, this person invaded my space. They were very energy draining, and not only that, they kind of just, they made you feel like you had to be on edge, okay, and that's why, that's what I feel with the angel of strength here in the reverse. You really were challenged, Aries. You were challenged a lot. So let's take a look at indecision. Three cards, please. Three cards for Aries, indecision. Okay, we have five of pentacles. Page of wands. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Aries. Okay, and six of cups. Here we go, here we go. All right, so first things first, we have on the bottom of the deck your challenge card. I love doing the challenge cards, it's awesome, is the Ace of Swords, okay? You are being challenged right now, Aries, to live in your truth and to speak clarity and be clear on what it is that you desire in your life and where you want to go. You are, you are building a cornerstone for yourself here. So if you allow yourself to step back into this past energy, I feel you already know that it's not good for you. Because here with the um, Five of Pentacles, I think you understand that uh, this this was a very, uh, again, codependent kind of relationship. I've been getting this a lot in my readings, or at least something that you feel left you kind of overburdened and out in the cold. I feel as though this person, like, they had a lot of toxic cycles going on that you were engaging in, and you were trying to remain strong, but it was actually quite the opposite. It was taking away your peace, okay? So, you know, you tried to remain in the long haul, I think, in this indecision for quite some time, whether or not you should actually leave. What's happening is you're questioning yourself. But here with the Page of Wands and the Six of Cups, I feel in your future energy, we're going to have, like, <laughs> you're going to take up your own okay advice here and you're gonna understand that in order you understand that in order to have a relationship that works it has to be something <laughs> that feels good to you that doesn't drain your energy that doesn't require all of your strength to keep it working i feel you may actually start pursuing some inner child work or going within to address um the reason why you felt you had to stick around so long in this relationship okay all right, let's go ahead and pull three more cards and then we will get into some Oracle. Okay, Aries, tell me. Three, three more cards for past, present, and future for Aries. Three more cards, please. Yeah, the tower, okay? So th this, was th this was supposed to happen, okay? The tower in reverse. I feel for the longest time you were sticking around in this past energy and you started letting it go. You started relieving yourself of the pull from this person or this situation that you're dealing with. And so what ended up happening is like inevitable, uh, you know, it, the foundation had to break apart because it was just not good. So the tower moment, you may have been clinging on for quite some time, not wanting it to happen, but boom, there it was, and it ended up doing that. Okay, we have Hangman in reverse. P um, Pisces, I almost called you Pisces. That's because this is a Pisces card, isn't it? Um, you guys, okay, you you were in you were in this position with this person for quite some time. I feel this. They've left you waiting. They've left you within this energy that has actually had two 
two benefits. The first benefit is that not only did you get a chance to see this person or situation for what it really was, but you actually had the time to restore your energy and to understand that this person was maybe not meeting you on the same level. You're on the temple path, Aries. This person or this situation was draining and taking you away from it. How do we know we have a split within us? How do we know there's a split? The split when it comes to indecision here is you're not following your inner guidance or compass. You know, you're always going to be drawn back to what makes sense to you. So you're right now you are stepping out of this indecision and being kind of like, I know where my compass leads me. So what was happening in the past is I often look at the hangman in reverse as a split inside of us. Okay. That it's like, do I stay here or do I go? The minute that you have that energy Aries, that split energy is when you know, this is not your path, okay? If you start questioning yourself and feeling as though the other person is, um, you know, not um, maybe not on the same path as you, okay? Or they don't align or there's something wrong. If you're getting those alarm bells where you're going, do I stay, do I go, do I stay, do I go? It's important to pay attention to that because you, it may actually mean your internal freaking GPS is like, where the F are you going? You know that iPhone uh, Maps thing that happened uh, when Apple Maps came out? I don't use the iPhone. I use, I use Android phones, but I remember seeing pictures of these iPhone Maps where you can Google it, where like uh, there, were, there were bridges that were melting or leading off. The GPS was just really bad. The map satellite photos were really bad. And like, this is how I feel when I get this kind of split inside me is where my GPS is leading me off a bridge that's melting and it doesn't make any sense. And I'm feeling really weird. Uh, if you have been questioning yourself for far too long, know that you're on the temple path. Okay. You're going towards your own compass. Okay. Where it's leading you. So let's get one more, one more here. One more for future energy. Nine of Cups. Okay, Aries. Your self-fulfillment is very, very important here. And I think that in order for you to move forward, it's so vital, so, 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 so vital and to, to, <laughs> to cling on to your dreams, okay? What satisfies you is what is your path. What makes you feel good? What makes you feel complete? Makes you feel as though... It's okay to be a little selfish every now and again, okay? And I think that whatever you were dealing with in the past, you hung on for really long, but in the process, you became stronger. And I think that is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and pull you one Moonology card and then a Lover's card, and we'll take this on over to our Extended For You Aries, okay? I'm, I'm actually doing my readings in pajamas today. I just want you guys to know that. I thought you'd like to know. I'm, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have. Your commitment is being tested. Absolutely. This is the commitment to your temple path. Where are you going, right? You may have been committed in the past to this situation or person that was really a big freaking lesson to your own internal strength. So what's happening now is the test to being committed to yourself here with the nine of cups and what you desire in life because you're working your way up to the ten of cups right that comes next which is that ultimate happiness that you're going to find either within yourself or with another so stick within uh, what you know feels good follow your guidance system and remember that challenge of the ace of swords is all about clarity if you are in the past here with this devil energy feeling unclear especially with the seven of cups feeling like something just was not clear now your your the way is being cleared okay so let's get a lover's card for you let's get a lover's card okay we're gonna go with this acceptance is the key to inner peace at times you must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control absolutely this past situation sometimes Sometimes we deal with people that they just, they don't, they're not ready to grow or they're not on our path with us. There's, there's just something that they may need to learn or they haven't learned or you're learning. And this is a beautiful reading, Aries. I really wish you luck in healing on this. Okay, 
So if you like this reading, feel free to come join me um, over on Patreon for your extended. We're going to take a look at this past person and then we're going to take a look at some more ways to empower you and moving forward and what may be coming towards you in love. Okay, Aries? Also, quick note, down below in the description box, if you guys like to buy tarot decks or oracle decks or, you know, any kind of spiritual goodies, I have put a link to a referral coupon for, uh, oh, random, my printer just turned on, weird. I put a link down below to a coupon code for 5% off from this site that I shop on called Magic Planet. I get all of my decks from there and all of my candles and things like that. Crystals, really good prices. I think they're based in California. But um, they randomly selected me into the referral program. So you guys should check it out if you like, if you want to support my channel and you don't actually want to donate or buy a personal reading, go check this out because you can buy yourself something and I'll get a little bit of a cut if you want to buy yourself an Oracle Tarot or tarot deck or something like that okay advertisement over <laughs> i'll see you over in the extended areas bye